hello guys welcome once again to my channel Juan Guhit in YouTube that's Juan Guhit my email is surigaosan2019 at gmail.com for your answers to my questions you can send your answer to that email surigaosan2019 at gmail.com now let's talk about the principles of design what is the importance of these principles when you are designing even electronic circuit, even in visual arts, in architecture, you must have these principles and apply it to your design so that it will have a complete elements in composition. It will look good, feel good, and at the end, it will sell, but it will have a greater value. These are the most common principles or important principles in design. There are a lot of principles nowadays, but these are the classic principles when we talk about design, visual arts, and graphic arts. The principles of design describe the ways an artist use different elements of design in a composition. These ways or principles are number one balance, number two rhythm, emphasis, contrast, movement, harmony, proportion, and scale. Well guys, I don't have to read it letter by letter, word for word. It will make me feel uh, and easy for that so I know you're smart enough bright enough intelligent enough and adult enough to handle the reading do not skip the pages of this slides read it letter to letter word for word and at the end I will post a questions to answer in every videos there must be question and answer portion and the answer must be sent to my email okay and don't forget to comment in every video. Your comment will serve as your attendance. Well, let's go on. Number one principle is balance. You know how to balance, right? But there are formal and informal balance. Asymmetrical is informal. Symmetrical is a formal balance. Just see what's every picture here and try to find out, figure it out, which is the balance where is the balance in this picture okay there are a lot so many types of balance like here the asymmetrical meaning asymmetrical meaning occult or not in a good balance it is informal second principle of design is rhythm rhythm is just like our heartbeat it must be in a good tempo or beat just like the waves in the ocean a rhythm must uh, looks and sounds like that if you dance without a rhythm your feet has no rhythm so you're out of the dance steps so rhythm is important and try to observe how to find or how to use a good rhythm. You can use rhythm by repetition, gradation, radiation, opposition, and transition. These are examples of the use of rhythm by radiation, by opposition, by transition. And the third principle is the emphasis. Emphasis, which means giving importance to the more important element on your subject or in your painting or in your artwork, there must be one element that is so very important and you emphasize that. It is the focal point of your artwork. The tip is make it bolder, make it brighter, change style, add special effects so that people can notice that that is your emphasis 
right there. There are guidelines how to make emphasis. Just read. Do not skip the pages. Read it letter by letter. Saha Hadid did this design. Sarah Hadid is out from this universe. She is a very futuristic lesbian woman, an architect from Saudi Arabia, made it to the European world, Western architecture, and she is immortalized now in his or make that in her artwork in her architecture design Sarah Hadid uh, was immortalized she is immortal a great designer shout out to you Sarah Hadid or Sarah Hadid contrast in the principles of design you must have contrast just like black and white just like day and night just like beautiful and the ugly without ugly there will be no beautiful without day without night there will be no day without night without negative there is no positive so all of these two together works in Taoism in Taoism in China the negative and positive has a good result they are complementing energy, complementing forces in the nature. That's why contrast is needed in your design. Contrast. Another principle of design, the movement. Movement is important too. Meaning your artwork will be dynamic. It has movement, energetic, if you employ the principle of movement in your design. Just like the way there is a flow that is movement. A little bit of repetition. But not too much repetition to achieve movement. Too much repetition can cause you monotony. And monotony will, well, makes your artwork uh, not look good. Another principle, the harmony. Just like always the priest saying in the church that we must live in peace and harmony. Harmony is very important in all living things. You cannot put a piranha inside the aquarium full of goldfish. Or you cannot put an octopus in the aquarium full of goldfish. There will be no harmony. So meaning harmony is agreement within the elements in your visual arts. In your composition, there will, there will be agreement in color, agreement in form. That is harmony in the church. All the church goer, goers, the followers, has the same interest so that the church has harmony in it. Harmony by unity, just like this. Colors are united. They are not clashing with each other. That's why there is unity in composition. See every picture here, every form, every curve. Example in this building here. Rectangular is the design. So. In order to have harmony, there are a lot of rectangular form. The artist doesn't employ triangular so that there is an agreement and harmony in the building. So he employ triangular design. And here the lotus, lotus design, same curvature of a petals of the flowers here buds lotus bud so that can have harmony meaning the form the shape the color are complementing or harmonizing with its other but there is harmony in variety meaning 
there is different sizes, different colors, but still it achieve harmony. How was that? Well, just see the picture closely and examine what makes this picture with harmony. Proportion and scales. What is the importance of proportion? Proportion is a relationship of a one part of the body and the big part to the small part just like to figure it out. How was your body proportioned? Is your head smaller than your uh, body? I make that your head is bigger than your shoulder. Is your arm is longer than your legs? So how was your body proportioned? Well, just look at some models. The models in Hollywood, models from fashion, they are in a good proportion. Is your table proportion with your chair when you sat there and eat? Is it, it has anthropometry or it has a, a good measurement with your body? Talking about the chair and the table. So proportion plays a vital role, a vital role in our households when we design chair, table, cabinets, and even in industry when we de when they designed cars motorcycle it must have anthropometry it must have a good proportion in relationship to the human who use it so proportion is also important principle of design so just look at this design here, these pictures, this illustration here of how a human body is being proportioned. Do not skip pages, read it word for word, letter for letter, so that you will understand what we are talking here. When we talk about the principles of design. Okay, let's go on. This is Leonardo's uh, illustration of proportion of human body. Okay, that's it guys, and uh, well, thank you so much for watching the videos I uploaded, and please answer the question after this video, I post a question and send your answer to my email, surigaosan2019 at gmail.com, I should have to go now. Stay home, stay safe, God bless, and see you when I see you later.